pathwaysoflight.org. Welcome to the reading, A Course in Miracles Workbook Lesson 168, Insights. Your grace is given me. I claim it now. Thinking I am an individual separate from my brothers and from God is a mistake. Thinking my brothers are their bodies or their personalities is a mistake. Believing in separation is a mistake. This mistake will continue until I accept and claim God's grace. It is through God's grace that I receive the means for laying down these illusions, these mistakes. So my focus now is on claiming the grace God has given me. God has already given me the means by which I lay illusions down, but I have to be willing to claim God's gift. That is my job now. Because I am so familiar with mistaken thinking, I need to return again and again to opening to God's gift. As I claim God's gift, I receive it. As I receive God's gift, the light I receive causes my false ideas to disappear. When the false ideas disappear, the effect of holding on to those false ideas also disappears. I am then able to see the light behind the masks of individual personalities and individual bodies. I am able to focus on the truth instead of the lies of separation. In this stage of my awakening, I seem to wobble back and forth between making illusions real and remembering the truth that all is one in God. This lesson is giving me the answer to every problem I think I have. This lesson teaches me to open to God's gift of grace, whereby the means are given me to lay illusions down once again. I need to open to God's gift of grace again and again until all my belief in separation is undone. This is a process. Instead of feeling guilty for my mistakes, I recognize them as mistakes and with God's grace. I lay them down. This is my one function, being willing to claim God's grace, which provides the means for me to lay down all errors in my thinking. I have the means to remember I am free. I just need to claim it. This lesson is reinforcing the immediacy of salvation, of complete release from all fear and guilt. I need only acknowledge and accept it, and it is mine because it has already been given me. In today's lesson, God's grace means to me that he would not let me wander off into insanity without giving me the means to return to sanity. In our creation, he gave us all of himself, including all of his power. Thus, when we chose in our insanity to misdirect that power, he could not interfere with that choice or he would be making of us a lesser order of power we would no longer be equal in power as he created us. But by his grace, the moment we made the mistaken choice, we were given the means to undo the mistake. We still need to make the choice to let it be undone, but the means is already given. My heart is so filled with gratitude that I have 
a father so loving that he was unwilling to make me lesser than he is and equally unwilling to leave me comfortless and without a means to return to him. The Holy Spirit is his answer to all my mistaken ideas. My only need is to acknowledge my mistakes and accept the means for them to be undone. I cannot undo them alone. To attempt to do so is to reject the means he gave me. Rather, I need to accept his help and it will be done for me. As long as I continue to believe in false ideas and desire that they be true, I will not accept the means for them to be undone. My part in healing is very simple. Acknowledge my mistakes and accept the means for them to be undone. This is the willingness that Holy Spirit needs. With this willingness, the rest is done for me. Today I will practice being mindful with the Holy Spirit's help to recognize my mistaken ideas and then turn them over to him to let his light shine them away. This is my job today and I give thanks that I have the means to be free. Your grace is given me. I claim it now. Father, I come to you, and you will come to me who ask. I am the son you love. This is so inspiring. I know what the poets mean when they say, it makes my heart soar. Because that is, is, is exactly how I feel each time I say this prayer. Pathwaysoflight.org